All Gary Nasai Minasan. Today we are gonna take a look at the trailer of the Great Man Universe. Let's go. The waifu is back. Kaiju. God damn. Interesting. Multiverse. Yup, boy. Yeah, boy. Damn. Okay. What is going on? Interesting. Okay. I K. Okay, so this is the trailer for the Great Man Universe. Based on what we can see from the trailer, is that this movie is gonna more it gonna focus more on the Great Man casting rather than the Dana Zymon casting. We don't actually hear a lot of them in the trailer, but then again, we are not sure what to really expect until we watch the movie itself. But this is gonna uh, uh, premiere on Japan on the twenty fourth of March, so it is. A few weeks until it released in Japan, but for us, the rest of the world, we just have to wait and see when are we gonna get this Great Man Universe movie. Yeah, but I, I, I would say I'm quite excited to actually watch this movie. Part of the reason is because we we are gonna have the continuation of the Great Man Universe and also the Dana Zaymon Universe itself. So both of them are having a crossover, and I'm. I'm not sure why do they actually call it the Great Man Universe and not the S S S S Universe because the the thing that connects them is the S S S S rather than the Great Man itself. Okay, because like in the Dana Zaymon, we don't actually get any Great Man at all. But uh, in, and even in Great Man, we don't get any Dana Zaymon at all. So very very interesting stuff. We are we we are still waiting to see how the character is gonna regain the power of Great Man. If not mistaken, by the end of the Great Man anime series, the Character no longer have a contract with the Great Man, like he don't use use the power of Great Man anymore because the Kaiju no longer exists in that universe itself. But now that the Kaiju is back, so he needs to he needs the help of the Great Man once again. But one thing about the SSS as series that I really really love is usually the the battle with the kaiju and the battle with the monster of the week something like that is it 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 is kind of like to represent their fear is it, uh it's kind of like a metaphor for what the character is actually going through like they are as they are growing up this is kind of like a coming of age story where our character is growing up and they there are certain fear in their life they need to overcome and, and it has been represented in the perspective of the kaiju itself so that is something that i felt like what is the appeal of the great man itself i felt like this is gonna turn some people off and it is gonna excite some people so we we, we, are, we are not sure how the movie is gonna go but i i really hope they manage to find a balance between the the metaphor and also the action of the great man itself because like some at certain episode when we look at the great man was like oh man this is really really like devastating to to sit through because of all the emotional baggage that the character actually have and based on the movie itself we all we actually know that our main character is gonna she he wants to confess to one of the best waifu in anime history and, and that might actually cause some fear and that might actually causes the 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 appearance of kaiju once again something like that but 
remember our uh, the Denizimon universe uh, main cast I, I think they are already in a process of flirting they are uh, you're, you're really close with one an- another already so they, they're kind of like a couple already compared to the one in Great Man so maybe we're gonna see the Denizimon couple giving some advice to the great man couple itself so we, we, we are still waiting to see how the story is gonna go we will never know until the movie is being released and we actually watch the movie but that is all from me hope you enjoy what you see here if you like what you see you know what to do click that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye